Hi. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks a lot for learning Vedic Maths. In this video, I'm going to talk about base method, base 100 and below the base, below the base numbers. Before watching this video, please watch the previous concept that is base 100 above the base numbers. Without watching that video, if you watch this video, you don't understand anything. So I hope, I believe you watched the previous video. If you didn't, please watch and come back. Base 100 and below the base, right? If you take 100 as the base number, 100 as the base number, below the 100, 94, multiply with 93. 96 multiply with 92. Next. 88 multiply with 95. The problems looks like simple. As you watch the previous video, I'll go a little faster in this video. The problems looks like very simple. But if you give the same problem to any student, let's say 94 multiply with 93. How many steps the student will take care of it? Step 1, 3 into 4. Step 2, 3 into 9. Step 3, 9 into 4. Step 4, 9 into 9. Right? In step 1, 3 4s are 12, 1 and 2. 3 9s are 27, 27 plus 1, 28. Next, 9 4s are 36. Right on the 6. 9 9 0, 81 plus 3 is 84. 2, 6 plus 8, 14. Uh, 4 plus 2 plus 1, 7. And 87. This is a general way of calculations and uh, conventional method, traditional method, whatever you feel like. I'm going to teach you a Vedic Maths method on by using the base number and that is below the base number. Right? Below the base number. See, I would like to tell you one more point. That is, if you observe Vedic maths, whole Vedic maths, you might see 130 concepts. But all the concepts look like very similar and simple. As you watch the previous, you watch this video by till end, you'll understand both are similar but not the same. Both are similar and easy but not the same. 94 multiply with 93. So 94 is nearby 100. So 94 is lesser, below the 100. 100 minus 6 will give you 94. 100 minus 7 will give you 93. Right? Simple. 100 minus 4, 96. 100 minus 8, 92. So as I mentioned, all the methods are similar but not the same. So take similarly right hand side and left hand side. In right hand side, multiply the right hand side, 6, 7, 0, 42. Left hand side, 94 minus 7 or 93 minus 6. Anything you can take, 94 minus 7, 93 minus 6, that is 87. How many steps we took? Observe, how many steps we took here and how many steps we took here? Simple, 100 minus 4, right hand side. 4, 8, 0, 32, cross subtraction or 94, 92 minus 4, 96 minus 8, that is 88, one step. Minus 12, minus 5, 100 minus 12, 100 minus 5, 12, 5, 0, 60 and 83, in one step. You can able to solve this question in 5 seconds. So my question is even if you are a parent, even a student, even if you are a teacher, can you solve this question in 5 seconds? 88 multiply with 95. If you want, you just do the conventional maths by using the, calculate, by using the conventional method. Use the lab, uh, mobile and take the timer and check how many seconds you took to solve the question. And by using this problem, how many seconds I did it. Let me give you a more few problems to, to make you perfect in the concepts. 
Okay. So next, one more few few more problems. 98 multiply with 94. Okay. Uh, 90, 95 multiply with 89. Let's say 92 multiply with 93. Same. Once you understood the concept, you have to do the calculations in the mind. Right? In the mind. So 100 is the number. 100 minus 2. 100 minus 6. 2, 6, 0, 12 and 92. That's it. Once you understood the concept, you need to do it in the mind. You need to do it in the mind. And let's do a visualization, which is one of the skills which you're going to get from the Vedic maths. Visualization. 95 minus 5 in the mind. You should not write anything on the paper. 95 minus 5. 89 minus 11. 11 into 5, 55. 89 minus 5. That is 84 in one step. If you practice 20 to 40 problems depends on your you know grasping skills and depends on your practice you can able to do it in one step minus 8 minus 7 okay minus 8 minus 7 7 8 0 56 and left hand side 93 minus 8 92 minus 7 that is 85 that's it hope you understood hope you understood just solving any kind of question in less than five seconds i can explain you this in not even two seconds I, I even as a teacher solving this question will take you at least 15 to 30 seconds even if you do fast calculations but by applying this rule by applying this method you can able to solve you can able to solve any question in one step in less than in less than five seconds by using the base rule Thank you so much for watching. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.